and Lewis will be going against the very dangerous Lionel Butler. I don't think he's let it all hang out. He's had trainers to get in there and try to teach him too much. A jab, but Lewis's jab in recent fights particularly is just a need to make. But one I'm sure they're not sorry they did. And once again, the record for Butler, 23-10-1. Uno fight in Cardiff, Wales. 9-94 was the McCall fight in Lane McCall, as we've mentioned, to his victory over Lewis. Also did no record is 23 wins. 10 losses and one draw with Lionel Butler. It is 25 wins. One loss. Oh, Lennox Lewis. Good luck to both of you. Shake hands. The expectation is that Butler... Pepe Correa, Lennox Lewis's former trainer, stared. As Larry mentioned, George. Lewis stand there and move this guy, wave him off. Moving it all. He should stand right there and just act as a. Might have dazed Lewis for a moment. A guy like Butler with all that bulk, rush jab. Just so unorthodox, this is unlike any other fight, as in the Ruddock bout and bad to him, as in the McCall. Lewis looking a little tentative and once again engaging. Where he doesn't have to move, his height is his greatest prison. Let's go. You're gonna have to get a little respect from him and shoot that little short right hand. Wait. Lewis punching down with the hard right hand. Tall man like Lennox. Well, left hook. That's true because with his height, the pick his right hand up. He's carrying it right. Butler tries that left hand to be jabbing and moving. Butler, it's the only chance getting a little more snappy. I've got to say, it looks a lot like the old Lewis is going to remember who he is and what he's gone through. And he is a fine fighter with a fine lose it. Be great. You got a lot of shots that you can lay in that you're still hesitant on, but it'll come later. And then got you. And that's what he's trying here. Hart brings his height down to the size of Butler. And, it, and he sticks a couple of effective jabs. Butler for the absence of activity. That can get him in trouble if he doesn't. But against most opponents, he's busier than this, George. Getting out of the way. The referee, I don't know what he's beating this boy up. If you don't beat him up, you're letting him get away. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the mistake. Round four begins. Second half of our heavyweight doubleheader this evening. Line doubleheader. If Lewis would have were jabs. Butler just not fight hard because he's not snapping his jab. All right? You gotta deliver something once you fake. Lewis suddenly doing a lot of work with the... Lewis started to pick his right hand a little better. That works against guys like Phil. He was knocked out three times in his first... Cracks you two or three times. Boom! Two right hands. Right. Natural man. And Butler... And that's the natural caution of Lennox... Right hand by Lennox Lewis. Well, there's not... Give him a little bit now. They've been running in... Keep the punches sharp. Round five begins. Another hard right hand. Well, that was a right hand lead, George, to land the howitzer over the top with the right. He just missed it there. Because that's his hope is to get him in the exchange. Oh, that's push. a push. If Lennox does it again. Yeah, but that was a way to get this guy. He ran into him. Butler and Lewis tonight. I asked Rich DeQueer of the Calif. And Lewis is being cautious. He throws the right hand. You can't help but fall in love with it. And that right hand might be enough to finish it. I rate it. And George Foreman at the table next to us is applauding. Presented by Mr. Roberts neighborhood. This will first pound him into the ropes with that the right, right hand. It was a matter of just punch stat numbers and uh, they reflect Lewis's dominance in the fight. <laughs> uh, a guy who's had serious drug problems as we said earlier. Lennox. Ooh. 